What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys this. Now this is my new favorite toy. It's called the LoopTech CT. And what I did for it, I actually programmed this to work within Cinema 4D. So without further ado, let me show you my custom profile. Okay, so I'm gonna get started on my desktop here. As you can see, I'm using version Windows 10. I'm just gonna go through a quick rundown on my favorite features of the loop deck for the desktop. Like if I click right here on my Explorer tab, it automatically brings up File Explorer, which is really cool. And then another thing that I like too is say that I wanna take a screenshot. So let me actually go to my channel here. So if I go to YouTube slash Jonathan Wimbush, you can see I have my channel right here. And say I want to do like a screen grab of something on here. All I have to do is click this button right here and it automatically brings up the snippet. So all I have to do is just use, um, if I want to do like a rectangle or if I want to do like a free lasso type thing, click what kind you want and then just drag it over top of your desktop and boom, you automatically have a screen grab of your window there, which is really cool, quick and easy there from loop deck. And so say that I go into one of my videos here and we have like some comments down here. Like, you know, I usually reply to all you guys out there. So like this guy said, amazing work. I click reply and here's my favorite button right here. If I click on the emoji button, automatically it brings up the emoji. So I use the, these emojis often. I'm usually doing the fist bump, the pray hands or the muscle one is always, you know, so just click it and automatically got my emoji there. And so those are some of the cool features that you could do with the desktop. Let me click out of here real quick. And then if I click on function number two, you can see that it actually brings up the launch pad for my applications here. And so I set this up custom to what I like to use. And so from here I have After Effects, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, which is all using the API from Adobe. So those are custom made from Loop Deck. So you have a lot of functionality there. I'm actually going to do one on After Effects as well, but today's feature is going to be on Cinema 4D since I built like a custom Cinema 4D profile for this thing. And so if you look in the lower corner here, we have Cinema 4D profile, which I created. And in the update for Loop Deck, we have DaVinci uh, Resolve and we have Streamlabs OS. Let me click on the loop deck button here and it's going to bring up the launch pad here. And so let me do a quick rundown of what I have here for cinema 40 and then I'll launch right into it. And so I have these in like five different sections here. So I have my main tab here, which has like my copy and paste and project settings. And then if I click on timeline, you can see that I have some of my timeline settings. So I have play backwards, play forward, stop, go to next keyframe, etc. So that's just real and quick and easy to get to. Just click on that button right there and bam, you're back to the main features here that I have set up. And then if I go to my second one, which I have named file menu, these are some quick and easy file menu buttons here. So I have new file, save, save as, open, you know, the stuff that you would usually see if you pull down the file menu. And then on the third one, I have some viewport stuff here. So like I have the rotate tool. So if you click on that, you can rotate your object. I have live selection. You could change out the different viewports and I'll get into all this stuff once you open up Cinema 4D. But then if I click on this one, I have a real simple setup here for my different render settings. And then on this last one, I have all my workspace windows here. So if I want to quickly get to like the content browser or the animation timeline, I have that quickly at my disposal. So if I come over here to my loop deck and let me click on Cinema 4D R21, Let's get this thing launched up. So you can see we have Cinema 4D opened up now. And if I click on Cinema 4D, you can see inside the loop deck that I actually activated. So now I have all my buttons here that I need. So just as a quick overview, let's click on the number one here. And you can see that my wheel actually changed. And so the way that I have this wheel set up is if I'm looking at the viewport here, if I use the scroll wheel, it's actually going to zoom in and zoom out pretty flawlessly. I mean, that's pretty smooth. But then I have this other knob up here too. So if I click on this, this does like a more incremental zoom. And so I have those two zooms at my disposal, but I also have another function for the big wheel here. So if I'm pointing down to my timeline here, I can actually control my timeline. So depending on what I want to do. So if I want to come up to like keyframe 20 and then kind of zoom into my viewport, I'm doing this off on the wheel. So just depending on what I have my arrow pointing at, 
this is what my wheels controlling, which I found was like a really good functionality, especially for my needs here. And so like I said, if I click on timeline button here, let me come down here. And if I click play forward, it's going to play forward. If I stop back, you know, I don't have any keyframes in here, but if I had my keyframes in there, I could use those. I click go to end. I mean, this stuff is pretty flawless. So the way that I'm usually working is I have my left hand on my loop deck and I have my right hand on my mouse or my Wacom tablet. I'm very rarely using the keyboard now because I put all my usable shortcuts here on the loop deck. So let me click on number two. And now you can see, I mean, we have some basic functions here. You know, we have new file, save as, as I was saying before. So that's not stuff that we really need to get into. But if I click here, let me actually add some geometry in here so we can play around a little bit. So I have my quick selection tool, which you can see once I clicked on it, it says live selection here. Then I have selection lasso. You see how it keeps changing everything in my attributes window here. I have my scale tool. So I automatically change to my scale tool, rotate. You know, you see, I mean, this is like real easy functionality at your fingertips. And what's cool here is I have programmed the big buttons here. So we have undo. You just click on that and boom, it undoes it. And then you have save. So if I want to save my project, you click save. I mean, this is real easy functionality here. Let me straighten this out a little bit here. So this is one of my favorite functionalities here. If I click on the viewport, I'm actually changing the viewport. So if you look here in the top left, you can see that my viewport is changing. And I've checked it back to the perspective. I can click all viewports on. So this is a real and quick and easy. And this all comes down to muscle memory. Like right now it says viewport X, Y, you know, so it all comes down to just like really using this thing and you'll know exactly what these buttons do. So let me go back to viewport selection. And let's see what we have in number four. So I have my render view, click on that and boom, in my viewport it automatically renders. I could render to the picture viewer, which is when you're ready to render, I could go to render settings right here. So if I want to set up my scene here, you know, pull up Redshift or something like that, all at the tip of a button there. And then right here on button number five, this one comes in real handy because I work in a lot of windows whenever I'm working. And I'm constantly coming over here to like the window and coming down to say like object manager or content manager. You know, there are shortcuts, but honestly, I don't have all these memorized. And so what was cool about the loop deck is I brought them into its own page. So if I want to click content browser, boom, my content browser is right there already brought up. I don't have to mess around with different windows and stuff like that or even um, memorizing shortcut keys. Same thing with like the attributes manager. I mean, I usually have it up there, but you know, if you wanted it to pop it up there, you can have it. You have layer manager. So if I wanna mess with layers and stuff like that. And then another cool one is the full screen. So if I click on full screen, depending on what I'm pointing at, that's gonna come full screen. So I was pointing at my viewport that came full screen like so. But say I'm in my attributes window here. If I click full screen, now I get full screen of that. I could get full screen of my materials manager down here, you know. So what's cool about using my loop deck is as I have this stuff memorized, I know like, okay, so my scroll wheel, if I have a point at my viewport, I can control that. If I want to make something else full size, I'll point my mouse at that. So it just comes into like a combination of getting used to working with your mouse and your loop deck. I mean, it took me maybe like a couple of days to really get used to it. And then once I figured out how to actually customize this to my own needs, I mean, it was game over from there. You know, once I watched the tutorial that they actually have on their site showing you how to do different customizations it is really easy to do. And so I would say if you want to get started with Cinema 4D and Loop Deck, go ahead to the website and download my Loop Deck custom profile off of there and then kind of go in and customize it to your needs because everybody works differently and so it's going to depend on your style of working like a modeler might work different than a texture artist so the shortcuts that they need or want to have at their quick disposal is going to be totally different so i'm here on the loop deck website so if you come over to downloads click on that right there and then actually you can go to downloads and go to custom profiles 
if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, see these are the profiles that come with the, the loop deck already. And so, or actually, these are, the co these are the profiles that are custom from the loop deck that they're making available. So like I said, I downloaded the Resolve one. They have one for Excel. They have, actually have one for Spotify, which is cool. And for all my DJs out there, they actually have one for Serato as well. So I would say give us a look and kind of see if this is something that could work for your workflow. But like I said, everything is customizable. So even if you use those as a jumping off point, you can always download those and then customize them to your needs. But if you scroll all the way down to community profiles, you see this one for Cinema 4D here. You click on this and we actually see we have the loop deck cinema 4d official custom profile built by yours truly and so i'm making this available free to all you guys out there so hopefully this will be a good jumping off point you just go to the cinema 4d here and then you scroll down this is for windows i mean i use windows so i can't say if it works for mac or not so i don't know i mean use it at your discretion but you know hopefully this gets you guys started in the right direction and i want to thank the guys at loop deck again for giving me this piece of hardware to try out like i said i'm going to actually be doing a breakdown of how to use this in after effects as well so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified whenever that video pops up so hopefully you found this useful even though loop deck did send this out to me i did find this quickly being my favorite new product like I'm used to using shortcut keys on a keyboard, but since I've been really getting familiar with this, this is totally taken over my left hand. Like I'm usually, especially when I'm working in like After Effects or like it says Cinema 4D, this knob really comes in handy whenever I wanna work on my timeline or if I wanna zoom in and zoom out of objects. I mean, just turning this knob here just makes that workflow a whole lot faster and a whole lot more enjoyable because who doesn't like new tech? Like I said, go to the Loop Deck website Make sure you go to custom profiles, download the Jonathan Wimbush official Cinema 4D R21 custom profile and tell them that Wimbush has sent you. So until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.